welcome. Today we have a look on Clonezilla, a free and open source tool to clone images from one computer to another. It's like a copy of a computer. In labdo.org, a help organization to generate laptop donations and give those laptops for free to schools and educational projects. We use it very often to copy an image to a laptop within a few minutes. Um, first you have to select um, device to image or device to device. I in our case we have uh, an image and next step is uh, where is this image stored. You can either load it from an external server or external disk drive. Um, in our case we have it on a USB disk drive. Now you should connect this device um, to your laptop and wait a few seconds so the operation system is able to recognize the drive and in the next step it is shown to you. It might happen that you will see here several devices so be careful here you have to select where you are keeping the images not where you're going to install them to so SDB in Linux you have the internal drive is SDA next one is B, C and so on uh, here you navigate to the directory where you are storing the images. In our case, on our disk, it is in the top level directory. Um, you are able to navigate to other directories too, but in case it's in the top directory, you only have to press enter. In older Clonezilla releases, uh, you might see here a list of all stored images and this might confuse users so don't navigate into the image directory you want to clone just to the di directory where the images are kept and with the tab key you can uh, go through it and then tap you confirm OK and then here please select always the expert mode to restore images. I will explain in a few seconds why. Um, the beginner's mode is only to generate images, but here we select the expert mode to restore them. And as said, we restore it to a disk, not the other options. And now the computer will show you the images found on the external drive. We from Labdo offer 32 images and 64-bit images. Uh, it depends on the CPU type you uh, want to install them to. And we have as well different languages like Spanish, French and English and um, pre-configured content matching to the size of your disk and a special solution for Germany for refugee and integration projects. Um, here I'm selecting the smallest um, image just to show you the idea. Um, and then here you define where it is stored to. It is the internal disk SDA, that's, for, that's okay. And now the reason for the expert mode is exactly here. With the uh, blank you can mark it with an asterisk, the I minus ICDS option. This option um, usually checks if the size of the disk where the image, image was generated is matching with the size of the disk you are storing it to. For instance, if it was taken from a 500 gigabyte disk, it usually would ask for a 500 gigabyte disk. But very often the disk drives are smaller and the image itself is also smaller. So it would fit to a 40, 60, 80 gigabyte disk. And to avoid a message, no, it is too small, you have to mark this option, minus 
ICDS. With tap you confirm OK and use the partition table from the image yes. Here it is your decision if you want to check the image before restoring or not. I confirm not to check because otherwise it might uh, need twice the time. And then what to do in at the end? Do nothing. And now press enter to continue. And I have to confirm yes. Yes, and now the cloning process is going to start. It will last several minutes, in our case just three or four minutes, but it might depend on your hardware and the size of your, the image. It might last, might last up to one hour or two hours. I will be back soon. We jump now at the end of the installation process. So here we are at the end of the installation process. The image is more or less cloned and 100% are reached and next step is to check the installation. The tool will install grub, some boot information and will check the file system and if everything went correct you will see this message press enter to continue and next step would be to adapt the size of the partition using Gparted or other partition manager. So once the image is cloned to your local disk drive you only have to adapt the size of the partition to the size of your disk drive. You start Gparted for instance as partition manager, select the partition you want to modify resize. Uh, it is important not to move the partition itself, so please be careful. It must be a cursor like this uh, with arrows to left and right side. Press the left button and just pull it to the end. Resize and apply. Confirm and then it will make the complete disk drive available for your system. That was the final step and now you can reboot and use the system. Have fun with uh, labdo.org. Thank you.